My name is Tom Bombellis. I work for the World Intellectual Property Organization, which we call WIPO, and I work in the Global Challenges Division, which is an area of WIPO which focuses on the public policy aspects of intellectual property. WIPO is a specialized agency of the United Nations with a specific mandate to work on intellectual property. What that means in practice is that the member states of WIPO, which are largely the same member states of the United Nations, they focus on creating treaties and harmonizing systems which grant and protect intellectual property rights such as patents, copyrights, trademarks, industrial designs across jurisdictions to make the granting and protection of intellectual property more efficient and harmonized um, throughout the global economy essentially. What we do for a living, our value added portion of the economy is no longer in manufacturing as it has been in decades past, but really in the creation of new types of information, um, the computer industry, the entertainment industry. All of those industries create a lot of value, but it's value that's based on information and content, not on physical goods such as shoes or, or even steel and things like that. So. This, this form of economic activity requires a legal system that allows people to capture the value from their innovative activity in the global economy. And in my particular field that I'm focused on, public health, there have been tremendous advances in things like treatments for HIV AIDS. Um, innovation is, especially in the biomedical field, is a risky, long, and expensive process. So the products that come out of this innovative process, such as new medicines, can often be expensive, certainly in economies that can afford them. But there's a, there's a social and a humanitarian need to make sure that everybody who needs these inventions, such as medicines, has access to them. Innovation doesn't do any good unless people have access to it. But access isn't free. Uh, so there has to be this balance between supporting innovation and making sure that people have access. And I see the United States mission, the United States government, the State Department, the ambassador personally, and the staff very much focused on this issue of making sure that the system supports innovation while also ensuring that we're addressing the access components.